The metric series of preferred sizes as established by the most recent ANSI B32.4M standard and shown here are intended for use with round, square, rectangular, and hexagonal metal products. This table shows the first and second choice from 1 up to 1000 millimeters. These standards were established to help keep the cost of manufacturing down and allow standard parts to be manufactured by any competent manufacturer throughout the world. When designing a new product, always try to use the first preferred size where possible, and if there is not room for the first, then the second choice should be used. For example, if the calculated minimum shaft size is 10.5 millimeters, then I would try to use a 12 millimeter basic size. However, if there is not enough room for a 12 millimeter shaft, I would then use the second choice of 11 millimeters. Or, if the calculated basic size for this shaft and hole is 2.15 millimeters, then I would use the 2.5 millimeter basic size. Once the basic size is known, the next step is to determine an appropriate fit. The fits are defined by the most recent ANSI B4.2 standard. This standard establishes the symbols used, dimensional limits, preferred basic sizes, preferred tolerance zones, preferred limits and fits up to 500 millimeters. As with the inch system, these are not limited to holes and shafts, but can be applied to any situation where there is a space contained by two parallel faces, such as a slot. The international tolerance grades, or IT grades as they are also known, establish the size or magnitude of the tolerance zone, which is the allowed variation in the part size. These grades are expressed as numbers and are always prefixed by the capital letters IT, such as IT6 or IT9. The smaller the number, the smaller the tolerance zone. Tolerance position letters such as a capital G or a small s establish the position or deviation of the tolerance zone relative to the basic size. These fundamental deviations use capital letters to represent the hole, such as H, and small letters to represent the shaft, such as a P. When working with slots, the slot or keyway is the equivalent to the hole and the key is the shaft equivalent. Together, the letter and number describe the tolerance zone for the part as well as the tolerance position. These charts provide a graphical representation of the preferred fits for the shaft and hole based systems. Notice the basic size is the minimum hole size for a hole based fit and the tolerance is applied to allow the hole to be larger than the basic size whereas the shaft base fits have the maximum shaft as the basic size and the tolerance is applied to allow smaller shaft sizes. The whole base system is the preferred system to use, but when a common shaft meets with multiple holes, a shaft base system should be used. The first choice or preferred hole and shaft base fits are shown in this chart. The second and third choice fits can be found in the standard. The fit chosen should correspond to the described function. For example, the wheel and corresponding shaft shown here should use a clearance fit based on the whole base system. In the case of the V-block and the slot, a sliding fit or locational clearance or locational transition fit would be selected. But where the base and support plate meet, a transition or interference fit might be a better choice.